Welcome back. Um, this, uh, this section I'm going to talk about the paint bucket, uh, which is essential for painting um, and, and creating objects in Toon Boom Animate uh, and Animate Pro. Um, the paint bucket is very intuitive. It's exactly what had the way you'd expect it to behave. Um, but it, uh, it has a lot of similarities with Flash's paint bucket, but it's got a lot of, um, of nice little quirks um, of its own. So let me uh, start off by just demonstrating that you can paint, paint a string of objects rather than just uh, individually clicking, like I've done there, I can just draw a line and it automatically paints. Now you can see as I paint, uh, I draw a mark here around the whole lot, um, it, it isn't filling the ones that I've um, had, that I've got gaps in. So I, can ch I have gap settings in my tool properties. So I can, at the moment, it's set to not close any gaps. So I can try small gaps and that's, they're too big for that. Medium gaps, one of them's uh, worked. So I'll just put in close large gap, and it should. Oh, didn't fill. Um, didn't fill it. But uh, yeah, you've got your gap settings that are. Um, you've got your various levels of tolerance. So um, it's probably just best to always be aware that um, you should be aware of your gaps when you uh, when you're drawing, um, and and try not to leave gaps. There's a tool, uh, there's a gap closing tool that you can use um, in here, in the under the paint bucket, and it's uh, it's it's like drawing a little line across the gap. So you choose the close gap tool. Now I might get a warning here. Yeah, I've got a, a, a warning just saying that you won't see the little stroke. Um, it, it it kind of glitches out when you do that. You uh, you won't see the stroke because it's. Um, it's a certain type of stroke, so I'll just say don't show this message again and click OK. But now I can, um, uh, with the paint, I can uh, paint it and you can see the little line that it's put. Um, indeed, I can, uh, with that tool selected, I can draw something like that and then paint. And you can see it's put an invisible line there, which is sometimes really handy, especially if you, you're going to do something like uh, special effects or uh, shadows on a character, you can actually do um, line work that will be invisible with this uh, particular tool. There's another tool called the Stroke, um, which has got a similar kind of thing. Um, and you can see I've just created an invisible stroke. You can actually see these lines if you press the K key. K um, toggles on and off the uh, the outlines of the vector um, thing. So with this stroke tool selected, I can um, maybe draw an eye and put an eye, put an iris in there, um, and I can uh, paint the outside, paint the eye. Um, this way, and now if I turn off K, you can see it's got a, it has no outlines. It's um it's an invisible line, so that's very handy to have um uh, uh as a, just as a, a toolbox to keep in my, uh, as a tool to keep in your toolbox. Jeez, I can't talk tonight. Um right, so um now I'm just going to go through the modes of the paint bucket. Um, you you've got your modes uh, the same as your selection tool where you can lasso or you can marquee. Um, if I go to the paint bucket and I choose to use the lasso or the marquee, um, it's the same kind of thing. I've got a lasso uh, or a marquee. Oops, wrong. Um, yeah, as a, or a marquee. So what, I've, um, what I think I might have done when I do that though is uh, it shouldn't do this, it shouldn't really behave like this if you ask me, but um, by changing from lasso to marquee in the paint bucket, it has changed that in the selection tool. So just be aware of that, that um, changing in one will will change it in all, all over the program. Um, so moving on, uh, the, d the different paint modes um, here you can see, I think I mentioned briefly before, um, you've got paint normal, which is just pretty much wherever you click or wherever you draw a line, it'll paint uh, as long as it's in an enclosed area. Um, you've got paint unpainted, which will only paint 
areas that are unpainted. So if I now, um, I'll switch over to paint unpainted, which is there. I'll choose a different color, make sure the gaps are closed. So I'll just draw a line there, 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 and there. So making sure the gaps are closed. Now I'm going to just uh, draw a lasso around here and it only paints the ones that were unpainted. So that's what Paint Unpainted does. Very handy for when you're painting, um, if you've got, if you're painting a big background and you've got like uh, lots of intricate things like leaves and grass and you, um, and you don't want to have to go uh, right through, zoomed right in looking for the little holes and painting them individually, you can um, just choose Paint Unpainted, hold down your, um, hold down your alt key and, and marquee the entire thing and you you can fill in all the gaps wherever they are in your um in your artwork even if you can't see them um the other ones are repaint so if i've got uh, if i've got these ones already painted and i choose a different color and i'm in repainted repaint mode draw a marquee around uh, draw a thing around that it paint it repaints everything that consists of paint basically so the way to um, to protect certain colors you can actually do that by right clicking on the color oh, it's gone off screen um, here we go this one's on screen uh, protect color so right click any swatch and you can choose to protect the color I'm gonna do that with um, with the black uh, you can also access it from here um, the pa the um, the little context menu in the color swatches uh, panel. You go to um, the context menu colors and protect color. So now there's a little red stroke on the black. It means that it's protected. And I can um, choose a new color. Choose make sure the repaint is uh, chosen. Draw and it's only repainted the uh, unprotected color. And I I like to um, I've got actually got a, sh a shortcut set to protect all my colors and only unlock the ones that I'm using uh, or the ones that I actually want to paint over because it's uh, it's very handy to be able to protect all your colors and um, and just paint a bit it helps you paint a bit more freely uh, I've got to move quickly because we're getting up to seven and a half minutes now um, unpaint is uh, exactly what it sounds like now I don't have any protected colors here now I just um, I unprotected that one so when I use the unpaint color it removes all the paint so I'll undo that and I'll just protect the black again protect color and now if I unpaint um, it has uh, it has unpainted everything except the black so that's great um, one thing that's exceptionally handy with this this kind of stuff is I usually draw with a, a low alpha paint I usually sketch that way um, I'll just un unprotect that uh, so uh, when when I sketch I do really rough sketches so I'm going to draw bitey um, I'll do a thing like that and horns and a uh, bit of fur stuff and pointing with his hand dee, 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 dee. now uh, I'll draw I'll clean him up with a darker paint uh, with a with a you know a, a paint that's uh, more solid so I'll zoom in and just um, just clean up his lines with this now normally back in flash you'd be doing these two steps the rough step and the clean step on separate uh, um, on separate layers or on separate frames and onion skinning your roughs what I love about this, um, the way p uh, color is treated in Toon Boom, is because it's all treated separately and all the strokes are treated separately, I can now, once I've cleaned up this drawing, I can uh, select by color, which is just fantastic. So I'll select the rough color that I roughed him out with, and I can press Control Shift A, which um, uh, I wonder if it's in the context menu somewhere. It's probably in the select menu. Um, edit. Hang on, drawing. Select strokes with current color. Okay, so I've selected this. This default is my current color. So I go drawing. Um, 
select strokes with current color and the keyboard shortcut is Control shift a and what it's done now is selected everything that I've drawn and I just press delete and I've only got my clean lines left and I love that it makes things so so um, quick and intuitive the, the alternative to deleting it is you can cut it and paste it onto a new layer which you know is just going back to the old step but um, it, it allows you to just just that ability to keep your roughs separate um, or to separate your roughs should it arise the other alternative of course is to leave it there but then drop the alpha way down uh, so I drop it down to nothing it's just fantastic um, right uh, I'm gonna have to split this video now um, and carry on in an, in the next one um, I don't think this one's gonna fit on YouTube maybe it will we'll see back soon